guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the new decor that I got for my house. I have gone in the modern farmhouse direction and the reason is I think it looks so clean and I really feel the most calm in a very clean space. So we've got a lot of neutrals going on gray, white, <laughs> black, and then I have like a touch of blue here and there in my house and some green. So that's kind of the direction I've taken. I've been really happy with it. I just love how peaceful it feels. So all of this stuff came from Hobby Lobby and home goods. I love shopping in those places because they're affordable and they have a really, really good selection, especially Hobby Lobby, if you're looking for modern farmhouse, they are like, they, they take the cake. <laughs> Plus they always have sales. Anyway, I'm excited to show this stuff to you and I'm gonna give you a little tours as we go through. So stay tuned and let's go ahead and hop right in. <laughs> recently got a new coffee table in the living room. The ottoman that I had before was just looking kind of tired and old and it was just time for an update. So I actually got this one on a neighborhood marketplace, which is secondhand. I absolutely love it. Somebody had repurposed it, refurbished it, painted it, and it is so perfect in my space. But I knew that I also wanted something to go on top to kind of spruce it up a bit. So I picked this up at Home Goods, and I really love the galvanized tin look. It's something I'm super into right now. I think it's really cool. The texture is awesome, and I've always been drawn to wood. Again, I love the texture. So these are just some faux tulips, and I think they're perfect for spring, and they also fit really, really nicely right in the center of that table. Greenery is such a cool way to dress up a modern farmhouse style and add life. I think it's so cute. So this came in a little galvanized tin and it was also from Home Goods. These you can get around $15, 12 to 15. So they're fairly inexpensive for a good size. So I loved this and the way I have used this one is I put it on this galvanized, I know, I've gone nuts, this galvanized tray that I also got from Home Goods and this one is the Magnolia Home Collection. It's really, really cool super rustic and i absolutely loved the size this one was only 15 dollars. isn't that awesome so i have put this along with the plant and a candle and lantern on my tv stand i also picked up this candle and i didn't necessarily go for a scent on the candle but the look i wanted it to be very very clean i liked the wood lid on this it was the perfect size this is ocean mist and this one is by sand and fog and always remember you can mix and match lids at the store if you've got the same candle the same brand and you just like the lid on another one swap them out i don't think it's a big deal i definitely picked the lid that i wanted and i think it looks really cute as I was checking out, I saw this little wooden sign. It just says, Our Home. <laughs> it's so simple, but it's adorable. It was $7, and I just put it on some shelves that I have in the living room, and it just is perfect. It's exactly what that space needed. So I think if you see stuff like this, go ahead and snag it because you can put it anywhere. You can put this in a corner in your kitchen, you can put it on a shelf in the living room, wherever, and it really, really spruces up an area. Next, I wanted to update my dining room space and I'm still working on it, but I picked up two mirrors and this really, really cool clock. The mirrors were only 17 a piece. Actually, I got them at Ross. Surprisingly, you can find some real gems if you're willing to go and kind to pick through but I thought these were absolutely perfect then I picked up this clock to go in between the mirrors and it looks really really cool I loved the texture on this wooden clock how the numbers kind of popped off and it's just really really awesome I'm very happy I was kind of worried that it might be too neutral when I bought it I was like oh gosh this is just too much white and gray but it looks very clean so along this wall we're actually gonna be build Wayne's coat which I think is gonna be so cute. So more white. If you want me to film that, 
Would you let me know in a comment? Um, I would be happy to. This is gonna be our first time doing it. It's gonna be a little bit of an adventure, but I'd be happy to show you how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it ourselves, and hopefully it looks really good, because I think it has the potential to be adorable. Anyway, also for the kitchen, the dining room area. I told you guys recently that I have been looking for a new table runner because mine has pumpkins on it and it's not fall anymore. So I picked this one up also at Home Goods. It's like a really thick woven material. The checkers are perfect. It's kind of continuing a theme that I have going on with my pillows in the living room anyway. This one's really, really long and I just love how sturdy it is. I've got little kids, so I need things that are gonna hold up and this just feels like great quality. This one was only 13. This little galvanized tray behind me is the next thing that I'm gonna show you. I have been looking for a galvanized tray for probably a year and I've not bought one because they were so pricey. This one was $17. All right, I'm gonna show you the individual pieces that I put on here and then give you kind of an overall tour of this tray. So I, on the bottom, just have this mug that says blessed on it, black and white. It was perfect. And this is the Bromello hand font or hand lettering, which is totally modern farmhouse. So this one was perfect, $4. Again, another one of those just little things that if you pick up, you can find a place for it. I also grabbed this little H for our last name. And this one I grabbed at um, Hobby Lobby. Then I also knew, oh, I gotta take the tag off this one. I also knew that I wanted a ball. I think they're really, really cool. I love like the spatial aspect of them. I think they're really cool texture and just add a lot visually. So this one was six bucks and it's a galvanized metal ball. It's perfect. And this one came from Hobby Lobby and it looks really, really good on here. Also, if you're decorating a galvanized tiered tray or any kind of tiered tray, it doesn't have to be galvanized like mine, but I recommend getting little spruces of greenery. They're a really nice filler. I think that you can kind of just like shove them in there and it really fills out the space. So these were really, really affordable and they both came from Home Goods. So I recommend greenery. And then if you can find flowers like this, are these hydrangeas guys? Oh my gosh, I hope I'm saying that right. These are really cute for the modern farmhouse style and you can grab them individually pretty much anywhere. I've even seen them at Target. You can get them at Michaels, Home Goods, Hobby Lobby. They're everywhere. So I just have a couple of these. I actually need to cut them down and stick them on there so that the stems aren't poking out. But I was kind of like seeing if I liked it and I love it. So I'm gonna do that here in a minute. And then I grabbed a candle to go on here. Again, I got this for the look, but this one also smells amazing. This is a Sensational Candle. That's the brand. It's uh, guava scented and it smells so good. Oh man, you guys, it's so yummy. I'm gonna burn this one a little bit just cause I really, really wanna smell this in my house. And then I also have this sweet little fox left over from fall um, a couple years ago. This came in the Target dollar spot, but he was perfect and white. And I knew he would just go right on this little um, tear tray. So put him on there. And then here's the tray. You guys are gonna love this. <laughs> Look at how cute. I love that it was only two. Sometimes you can get three. I think it's actually a lot easier to find a three tiered tray, but I didn't want it that tall. So I was really over the moon excited to find this galvanized one. I love the gold. I think it's perfect. And it fills out the space in my kitchen, this corner that's been driving me crazy for like a year. And so this has been the perfect addition to that little space. It's really, really cute. And these are fun because you can change them out for the seasons and do like holiday decor, seasonal decor. So this is kind of just like where I'm starting with it. And then uh, as I go along and as the seasons change, I will definitely update this. And so stay tuned for videos where I do like decorate and clean with me because I will be updating this little tray. I have been in need of a new fruit basket for a seriously long time. I saw this one at Hobby Lobby and it was the perfect thing. It was exactly what I was looking for in size and then I loved the distressed white metal or wire. I think it's absolutely amazing. And look at how cute it's shaped. I love how it kind of dips in the middle. So this is looking really cute. We've got all of our fruit in here right now. Uh, let me get a couple pieces so you can see. This is what it looks like. Isn't it super cute? I was really impressed with Hobby Lobby's 
spring kitchen line. I thought pretty much everything was adorable. So I would go check it out if you're looking for some new stuff. Um, I just was specifically really blown away by their kitchen and they had like three aisles of it. It had, there was so much there to choose from. So. Something I forgot to talk about is the pantry sign I grabbed from Hobby Lobby. I think this really is a fun little addition to the space and I'm actually thinking of painting the pantry door. Let me know what you guys think. Lastly, I don't want to forget to tell you, I got some little wool baubles, a little string of wool balls that goes on my shelving in my living room and it's really cute. These wool balls are fun. You can put them anywhere and you can buy them in a variety of colors. You can get ones that look like the circus or a unicorn or just one color. I think they're absolutely amazing and the, uh, the texture is what I'm after. I love mixing textures. I got that one online. I can't even remember where I got those, but I will try and find a link for you guys to a place where you can pick these up. I know Etsy sells them, and they're just a really, really cool detail to add pretty much anywhere in your house. You can put them in your bedroom, over your bed. I mean, they're just cute. So anyway, that's the last thing that I added. Let me know in a comment what your favorite item was that I picked up. I'm really excited to chat with you guys down in the comment section. I've also left a couple of video ideas on the screen if you wanna click those and check them out. Also, if you click the little picture of my face, you will be able to subscribe to my channel, which I would absolutely love. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you soon. Bye.